Cape Cod, located 70 miles south of Boston. It's where New Englanders retreat to crisp air and salty water. Summers on the Cape are filled with families, ice cream, and of course, baseball. Formed in 1885, the Cape Cod Baseball League is the premier amateur wood bat association in the United States. More than 1,000 alums have played Major League Baseball. One in seven current MLB players played in the Cape. Playing in Cape Cod League is something that you dream about. My dad, who was a big baseball fan uh, growing up, he always said, you know, that's where the best college players go out after they play, and it's something that you want to be in somewhere where you, you need to see yourself if you really want to pursue the career of playing baseball. I thought it was going to be like big houses and something crazy. You know, it's the complete opposite. It's a small local town. Texas junior shortstop C.J. Hinojosa spent a second straight summer playing on the Cape and living with a host family. We are their summer parents. They live with us, you feed them, you worry about them. What sets us apart a little bit is that we have a, a gentleman's farm here. Last year I pulled in and I saw they have a sign that says the funny farm. And I was like, a farm in Boston? That doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> People think, you know, you're in Texas and you ride horses to, to school and stuff, but out here, they have cows and chickens and all kinds of things, pigs. I mean, I, I had no idea what I was getting into when I got out there and it was a farm. When the boys come, it's really a unique experience, the cows and the chickens and the ducks, and I try to get them involved in taking care of them. What are the ball players like with the animals that are all in here? Nervous, very nervous of the animals because they've just never dealt with them before, so they get kind of, especially with a large animal. The pigs are kind of easy, except trying to catch them. <laughs> CJ has helped us quite a bit. I mean, he's out in the yard. Anything I ask, they'll do. But they're really, they don't like the manure at all. They don't want to step in it, don't want to go near it. I said, oh, just wait until you have kids, then you'll see. One morning I woke up, I was, I'm usually the first one awake, walk downstairs and I see a big object in, in the middle of the yard and I'm just confused and no idea what it is and I asked Tom about it. There's a snapping turtle. It was probably a good 15, 17 inches big. That's big for a snapper. And they're mean and they smell. It was god awful. It smelled like, um, I don't know, like a sewer that hadn't been drained for months. We asked CJ to pick it up and he was just like, oh, I'm not going to pick it up. Ooh, it smells. CJ's first game with the Harwich Mariners last summer was July 2nd. 11 days after Texas was eliminated from the College World Series. As soon as we lost, I was getting on the plane to come back home and I texted my father and I said, you know, is it, is it bad that I'm ready to start playing already? And, you know, I just really didn't want to stop playing ball. But he came in and hit the ground running and from day one, he kind of like took the team under his wing. And I said, geez, this kid's going to be something special. And CJ's awesome. The energy he brings every night. Um, he he kind of quarterbacks our defense. His ability to do whatever it takes to help the team win, but he makes everyone better around him as well. I haven't had this much fun playing summer ball since I was a little kid playing uh, back in Spring, Texas. When they aren't on the field, host families work together to ensure the players get the best experience while they're on the Cape. All the families are a family. A lot of times the, we'll all get together. For instance, um, the Birch family, who we're very close with, they have a player, and we'll swap off dinners, which is a lot of fun. And it's nice for the ball players to, you know, all be together and hopefully discuss strategy on how they're going to win that championship. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Yum, yum. Oh, okay. This is a lovely meal. <laughs> In addition to CJ, three other Longhorns played on the Cape last summer. Catcher Trace Pereira, pitcher Travis Duke, and outfielder Colin Shaw all played for the Katuit Cataliers. And on July 9th, all four Longhorns were on the field together. CJ Hinojosa facing his college pitcher, Duke, and behind the plate it's his teammate Trace Pereira. It was a blast because those are the guys that you go to during the year and you hang out with them outside of the field and you talk to them and you know, we this past year we really became close. I've known Thres ever since we were 10 and 
we've, we've been playing together, but for us to be on opposite teams, it was, I mean, it was a little bit bittersweet. This is bragging rights to the max. Travis Duke and Trace Barrera, yeah. Texas players on Katuit against their teammate CJ Hinojosa on Harwich. It was kind of funny, actually, because I couldn't stop smiling. Travis is a really goofy kid. He told me he was going to give me one fastball. I think he lied to me and didn't give me any. 1-2 Hinojosa on the ground to second, fielded by Taylor, and he gets the out at first. We talk trash to each other and stuff during the game, but after the end of the game, it was like, hey, man, I'm glad you're, you're doing good. I miss you. I can't wait for us to get back. I don't know if in 10 years I will be in the big leagues or not, but it's a great experience to come out here and I get to play on the same fields that these guys played on and all these guys who are getting inducted into the Hall of Fame or you know, having great careers in the big leagues. And whenever I'm older, I'll be able to tell my kids, you know, I, I played on the same field that they did. And I played for the same team that they once did whenever they were younger.